I'm not into sports, and I didn't really know what to expect going into Cue Ball, a Netflix documentary about basketball inside San Quentin Prison in California. It shocked me. San Quentin is the male housing unit for all death row inmates in California, sometimes referred to as the Q. That's where the title comes from. I didn't know that until I saw the documentary. And I live in California. But I also don't hang out in prisons. Now, in addition to death row, there are general population inmates in there. And just like in any prison, some of them will eventually be eligible for parole. And so San Quentin has programs to try and rehabilitate their inmates, to get them ready to re-enter society. Now, one of the rehab programs inside San Quentin is a basketball program. And they have a basketball team, and they're actually pretty good. They have strict codes of conduct and behavior and things that they have to do and meet in order to play on the team and to play basketball. And the reward is they get to play on a team and they get to play against volunteer teams that come in from the outside. And at the end of their season, they play against the Golden State Warriors coaching staff. And as the assistant warden said, there are no slouches. I mean, these guys, while they're not on the court all the time, they probably were players at one point. And so they're pretty good also. We get a lot of interviews from players on the team, and that really helps to give insight into them as people and how they view their circumstances. What do they feel about their crimes? What do they feel about their punishment? Are they, are they trying to excuse it? Are they accepting it? Whatever that is, I like that we get to hear it from their mouths. Some of their words may seem disingenuous, and I totally get that. But other of them, I feel like they were really, you felt, they felt the gravity of what they did. They have accepted their punishment and they're doing their time and they're trying to better themselves, whether or not they get out. Some of them, you know what, this is just where I'm at and okay, so I'm just going to be the best person I can be and make the changes regardless if I get out or not. And others are looking towards the future to be like, you know what, I have parole coming up in three years. I need to get my act together. I don't ever want to come back here. And you know what? Good on them for doing that. Now, this being a documentary about inmates in prison, it we're all going to have varying opinions on that and guttural feelings towards that. I mean, you may be a victim of a crime, and so you're going to react in a totally different way than I do watching this. But it is interesting to watch just from the standpoint of the rehabilitation program. Now, the documentary follows one player in particular. It was shot, I believe, in 2018, maybe a little bit of 2017, released in 2019 to maybe some of the, th the festivals, and now making its way to Netflix in 2020. So there is some time in between there. And so you get to they get to follow up with some of the players afterwards, or just their stories, what happens to them from the time of filming to the time of release. But we do follow one player in particular, and he is amazing. I mean, he's the best player on the team, and he also has parole coming up. He has served his whole sentence, and it's not because he's getting out on good behavior. He's actually just, this is it. I'm done. I've served my time. I'm ready to get out. And so it's interesting to watch because a lot of it is on the line for him. He doesn't want to go back to prison. He has goals, but it also revolves around some basketball too. And he wants to try and make something of himself in that, but also recognizing what put him in there. And at times I kind of questioned, how genuine are you? Do you, do you actually feel bad for what you did? Is this all an act? Is this all a show just for the cameras? You know, so maybe it can help in a parole hearing later on, or, you know, it, it just, it provides some goodwill or something like that. At the end, I believed him and I was invested in his story. And part of that shocked me too, because I also found myself having some sympathy for a few of the characters, not all of them. And I like that the story itself, the documentary is broken up into chapters. And one of them is you do the crime, you do the time. And they're not excusing or absolving anybody from this. And you also get to see that from the, the inmates themselves. They, a lot of them understand, not all of them. Some of them still kind of like, well, I don't understand that. That kind of seemed like an excessive punishment for what I did. I didn't deserve that. But for the most part, they're like, mm, no, I get it. I understand. I did this. I'm waiting out my time and hopefully maybe I can get out of there and I can become productive. We do get a decent look at inside the prison and how things function, but the real draw of this is all of the interviews. I mean, it, it's mildly funny too. I mean, there are humorous moments in there. Not that the interviewers are trying to be comedic because I don't think that's where the comedy comes. It just comes from some of the circumstances and watching them interact. And it almost feels like, I mean, it's its own community, right? With It has 
prison walls around it and it has guards, but if you remove that or you just don't look at that, you see a small community of people who are just trying to get along, they're trying to function, and they're trying to just go through life. And so from that aspect, it's kind of interesting as well. Throughout this, they tell a great cohesive narrative. And in addition to the humor that's in there, there are times of anger and frustration and just disappointment also, that you're looking at this and you go, oh, I don't like you, or why are you saying this? And there's also heartbreaking moments too, because of the interviews. And that's what really makes this documentary. Yes, it does surround around basketball itself and that sport, but you don't have to know about basketball or like basketball to enjoy or get into this documentary. Because ultimately it's a human story, not a sports story. I also like too that the documentary didn't feel like it was trying to convince me of anything. It wasn't trying to push some social agenda like, hey, prisons are bad and everybody should be released. And it wasn't doing the flip opposite of that either. It was just presenting me with, here's some people, watch them. I'm going. They're going to expose us, me as the viewer, to something that I may not be aware of. That, hey, there is this rehabilitation program in this maximum security death row prison, and some of the people, you get to see how it's working in their lives. I'm gonna try something new with documentaries. Uh, I've been struggling with my rating system on documentaries. I mean, why do I give something a four and a half versus a five? Or why do I give something a three versus a four and a half? I mean, so just that type of scale seems a little bit odd to me and I'm struggling with it within documentaries. Not for films, not for shows. Those I will totally begin to or continue to give a, an actual score. I just want to, on documentaries, do I recommend it highly or do I not recommend it? That, that's kind of, it gives you a yes or no type of thing for that. Should you check it out? Should you not? There's no sex or nudity, but there is a lot of profanity and some violence. I think cue ball is an awesome narrative and a great documentary, and I do think it is worthy of your time. Regardless of how you feel about inmates and about prison and just death row in general, and it's really not even about death row, it's about these rehabilitation programs, but just any of that, I think regardless of how you feel, that you can find interest in this and, and see it from a human story. Now, maybe you don't agree with me. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't like these people at all. I feel no sympathy towards them. Let them all just rot in there. Okay, I respect that because at times that's how I feel too. But other times, and even through this, there were a couple people that I think just needed a giant bear hug. And you know what? There you go. Anyway, I would love to know if you watch this documentary, what did you think of it? How did it make you feel? Did you walk away with like some inspiration or maybe just a new perspective? Or did it just absolutely confirm everything that you feel about prison and inmates? Either way is totally fine. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.